Hello guys. Welcome once again to our tutorial session on Python for bioinformatics hacks. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate the GC content using the Python library called BioPython. So for this tutorial, you are first going to use a file, a faster file from the NCBI database and use BioPython to extract the sequence and calculate the GC content. Let's get started. So the first one, you go here, NCBI. You click on nucleotide, and then we'll download the sequence. AGY99. So that's Mycobacterium Osram's strain. So we'll download that sequence, which will be in the faster format. So we are interested in the complete um, sequence. We just we just use this complete sequence here. So we click on it, and then when we come here, we go to send to make sure complete record is checked. Come to file, and our format you select faster. So we create the file, and then. We save it on our desktop. Okay, I already had a sequence file, but it doesn't matter. I will replace it. Okay, so if you should open that, that file, it's a faster format. And I made a video on how to open faster format in my earlier um, video. So you can check that one out. So that is the, this is the file that we have here. Okay, so that's how. Um, it is so we will, we will proceed to find the GC. So the first thing we are going to do is to first get the file name. So file name because to specify the four parts. Okay, so that's the file name I have for my faster sequence. Now the next step is to down is to get the libraries. You import the libraries. Okay, so to import the libraries, you start with the first one from Bio Import Six IO. Now this library is what will be used to read a faster file. The next one is from Bio Six Utils imports gc okay now this one will be used to calculate the gc content so we call them now that we are done with that we will now read the faster sequence so let's say seek objects cause to seek io but read because it's a single faster file name and then we indicate the format. Now, after we have read the object, we now extract the sequence. We are only interested in the sequence. Okay, so if you want to explore faster files, I've made a video on that, and link is in the description box below. So I'll skip those ones. So we now extract the sequence, and that will be what sequence we assign it to the variable sequence. So it will be seek objects to seek okay that is how we extract the sequence now let's quickly find the length of the sequence first okay so this is the length of the sequence okay so we we, let, we can just print or display just a few regions so let's just say we want to display just the first 20 nucleotides so basic so we say print sequence First 20. Okay, I've also made a video on indexing and I will leave that in the description box below. Okay, so that's it. So now we have the sequence ready, so it's now time to calculate the GC contents. We have already called um, the functions that will do the calculation, so we just proceed. So we just say 
we assign it to a variable so dc content is equal to dc and then in parentheses we now specify the sequence which we assign to this variable okay so after that you can print it to see the value okay so this is how you do the printing now in case maybe you want to find out you want to round it to two decimal places it can still be done okay so to run it to the smart place you can just say round dc contents because we have already calculated and assigned to this variable and then indicate the decimal places two and then it will give you into the smart places isn't that cool yes it is so this is how we use the BioPython packet to read a faster and also calculate the DC content. Now let's try another. If you also had your custom sequence, let's see, let's create our own sequence. AGCCT. A, C. Okay, this is a sequence. We can also still use the same GC function to calculate the GC contents. So we just we just issue GC sequence two, and then it will calculate it for us. And so with this, um, you don't need to actually do the manual um, calculation of the GC content. Everything has been designed. For you to just call and then use okay so that's how we calculate the jc content using the bio python package and so using this if you have several or multiple sequences you can quickly run through all of them and calculate the jc content um, at the click of a button okay so this is how we calculate the jc content using the python library now if you want to know how to manually calculate the jc content as well i've made a video on that that you know how to calculate it manually. And that one, you do it by finding what the sum of the genes and t's divided by the total length multiplied by 100. So you can check that video out to also find out how to do it. And that would be good, especially for beginners to know how Python works. So that'll be all for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.